sucks to be dating out in this world right now, bro. I feel for you men. That's that's. <laughs> I feel for you, bro. Even them coming into the truth, repenting, they mind is all bugged out, bro. It's a different breed of human being out here. <laughs> different breed, especially our people. All right. No. The slim pickings they got. Oh, man. Women. It's bad. It's, these women are horrible. They're horrible. You know what I'm saying? And listen, I know I'm saying women, but hey, for the last, what, 50 <laughs> years, y'all been raising men. So it goes back to you. Know, <laughs> You've been raising, oh, uh, can you hear me? Testing one, two. Can you hear me now? Can you hear y'all? Y'all hear y'all what's up? Y'all hear y'all what's up? We have some little technical difficulties right on a little late. The mic. It's on. Let's get it right. Let's it's get on. it right. Yo, there we go. There we, we go. Good. There nah. we go. Nah. All right. Uh, this is Captain Palu, and to my right, Officer Y'all what's up? Mm-hmm. Officer Y'all Cole, we in the building Shalom. right now. Shalom. Taking Shalom. over for, uh, <laughs> Israel. for Deacon Abiel for uh, Fix Your Face Friday. I want to repeat right. what I said. Go ahead. Repeat what you said. <laughs> I want to repeat what I said. <laughs> I want to make a name. Go ahead. I I, yes, I said it's the women, you know, uh, for the last, what, 40 to 50 years, look, the women been running things. Uh-huh. They have not been doing a good job They've been all. doing a horrible job. Listen, the, like I said earlier when I, we came on, these women, I don't feel so, look, I don't, I don't have no type of, I'm so happy I'm married and in this truth. Mm-hmm. I don't envy nobody that's not in it. I don't envy them at all because they got slim, slim pickings, man. These women are horrible. I say it again. Because the men that they raised for the last, like I said, 40 years, you know what I'm saying, or 30 years, is what you have today. Get that in Isaiah 1 and 12. I mean, uh, what is Isaiah 3 and 12? Yeah. Isaiah, Isaiah 3, 3 and 12. 12. Get that real quick. Yeah. Let me back up the word what I'm I, saying. I got all Lord, I call Isaiah it a 3. new thing. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> He said, what? There's a new thing in the, the Lord earth. Lord Collar said it'd be a new thing on the earth. Oh, we're going to get to that, too. A new thing. The that the women, yeah. Oh, okay. The women will surpass a man. <laughs> I don't know what you said. That's that, that's that street poor talk that's right there. Street <laughs> Listen. It's street poor. Street poor. You got it? Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Mm-hmm. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. What? Children are their oppressors. Listen, our communities are run with gang members. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, infested with gang members all over the country, all over, the, all over everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Read it again. As for my people. As for God's people, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, is God's people. They are the Israelites. Read. Children are their oppressors. Children are the oppressors. How? Because they oppress the neighborhoods. They're the ones who shoot down the neighborhood. They're the ones, know, uh, what they say, snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. Right. That's them oppressing the neighborhood. You're scared to go out in your street. You're not, scared to speak against something. Not only that, y'all was out. Mm-hmm. I, I mentioned this before. Back in the day, when you was in your neighborhood as a, as a youngster, you looked up to the older men. Right. right. You looked up to the older men. You wouldn't dare fix your face to say something crazy. You get slapped mm-hmm. across your mouth, No. Mm-hmm. took down the street, and you get another whooping. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't do it. But the old men wasn't on drugs like that either. Right. You know what I mean? So it's a whole different ball. They slapping them upside the head, selling dope to their own family. I remember when I was a, when I was young, um, if anyone old was passing by, we would be quiet, let them pass by and stuff back our conversation. Mm. We'll finish out. That's how it used to be. Mm. When they walk by, we'll be quiet. Miss Ann coming through. Miss such and such coming through. We'll be quiet. And then when she gone, then we talk about all the crazy stuff, you know, the girls, whatever we talking about. Mm-hmm. But we had respect, you know what I'm saying? Even though we was doing some stuff, but we still had that respect for our elders. But they don't have that. They don't have that because guess what? I'm just saying what the scriptures say. These single parent homes teach they like they, they think it's funny for their kids to be cussing. They think it's funny because their kids saying this and saying that, and it's not cute. It's not funny at all because they lead, they they grow up to be demons. They grow up to be uh, terrors. You know what I'm saying? Finish that scripture. As for my people, children are their oppressors, mm-hmm. and women rule over them. And women rule over them. 
I know they be saying, damn, why y'all always on the women? No, we not. We ain't on you enough. We ain't on you enough for you to ask me. We, you know what I'm saying? We always on the women. No, we not. We've been on uh, the men for the last, what, 30 years? Di- uh, uh, Donahue, uh, what's that with uh, Wiki Lake? The men ain't nothing, men ain't, you know? And what the men say, okay. I ain't, I gotta give my, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the black man has always had a foot on his neck. Mm-hmm. That's right. The black man always had to take the responsibility, the backlash, the undevelopment. We took, we took on everything and we still try to empower ourselves mm-hmm. over time. Even, even today, like you got today, what we gonna get into. Right. Men like, like Kevin Samuels. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oh, they say the Menisphere, uh, Menisphere, right? Kevin Samuels, the, the O'Shea Menisphere? Duke Jack. That's what we call Menisphere. Mm. Men basically speaking out of showing, correcting women, so correcting they call them it, on their. They, they call it the Menisphere. Yeah. Okay. Basically, is it, is it the derogatory term or? That's, no, it's not. Okay. No, it's not. Menisphere is basically men. That's, that's what they got. Get tired of the bull. That's getting crap. tired of women's bull crap. Okay. Oh, let me, let me, let me. Bullshit. Yeah. That's what they get tired of. This fix your tired. face. You yeah, get you talk. Easy bullshit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's the thing. And 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 you got men. We gonna get to these videos like Umar Johnson. That's talking against it. That's why I call it simp. These are simp cats that our people. Some our people, mostly black women, listen to brothers like Umar Johnson. Right. Oh, the brother, the beautiful black queen. The the precious queen of the earth. The, the <laughs> yet, yet she on crack. She know. I want. I want to show you a video after you finish that saying that. But but he buy prostitutes. But that's the queen though. That's yeah, the that's, queen. that's the black queen. That's the mother of earth. But don't change that though, because that's the lady that's funding my schools too. Yeah, right. So you see why I'm I'm saying what I'm saying. That's why, heavy. That's why heavy. they. It's men like that that's want to stop. From correcting the black man. They don't want no Negro to come in and correct the black woman. Right. Because right. they mess up their pockets. Right. It mess up how they move and move and shake around. You know what I mean? Right. That's the problem. But go ahead. You you you, fin- you done with that scripture? You finish that? No, sir. All right. Read it from the top one time um, and then you're gonna finish it out. Isaiah chapter three and verse twelve. Mm-hmm. As for my people, children are their oppressors, uh-huh. and women rule over them. And who? And women rule over and them. And that's prevalent today. That's the truth. Read. Oh, my people, mm-hmm. they which lead thee, cause they, thee wait, to... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. They that lead thee, what? Cause thee to err. Cause thee to err. Go off. Go wrong. Off to... All, they off the chart, man. Give me that video I sent you. Let me show you. This is the type of women... That's leading us. This is these are type of women that's watching our kids. <laughs> and these this is the grandma. This is the grandma. Because these grandma wanna be thoughts now. You got these young grandmas. We're gonna break this video down. It's only what grandma's, two seconds. Uh, two minutes, minutes. <laughs> grandma's trying to be young. Go trying ahead, to have please. a hot, hot old summer. Hot old. Ooh, ooh, it's stank too. Uh, so like cigarettes and, 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 and coffee. Marcus. <laughs> so like oh, an old teacher. Marcus. <laughs> Dolly. <laughs> hey, listen, that's, that's the old school yeah. stuff. My old people, we, you know who that is. Y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about. Them youngsters don't, that's going over their head right there. Right, <laughs> <Lady> Louise. <laughs> yeah. You got it? Go ahead and play it. Screams fill the evening sky as family members try to cope with what happened in the South Memphis community. Two children, ages two and three, left home alone shortly before a fire broke out. During our search procedures, we located two small children. Those children were transported to Labana Hospital in non in critical condition. The two boys were left unattended while their mother and aunt left home to go drop off a friend. We left about, I don't know what time it was, because we went to drop this dude off at home so he had cut her grass and stuff. So we went and dropped her, him off at home. Sometime after that, 911 received hey, a hey, call stop, from neighbors stop, stop, saying stop, the stop, house stop. was... So, so, so my, my question is, why can't you just take the kid? If it's just you and somebody else, why can't you take the kid? Cap. That's why I say they was they was going to get some drugs. They was they, they trying was, to get high. They was going to do something they ain't supposed to be doing. They can't say it on there. 
we had to go drop our friend off. So both of y'all had to go? So both of y'all had to drive. The only one person, two people drive the car, though. One person drive the car. What kind of car you got? <laughs> you, and listen, they put this on air, but the, the other nations looking at this, this is pitiful. Yeah. These kids almost lost their life. We're going to go, go ahead. Listen, wanna, look, at, look, to it. look at the, the actual uh, title of the video Aunt Neglects Kids. This is what the Leave, news put, Leaves them to die. Die in house fire with no regrets. I bet you news reporters go to school just so they can be and go and just so they can be here and, and report this stuff, bro. Because <laughs> they get all the entertainment and laughter mm-hmm. from right. our people. So they, we are shaking up the head, bro. Oh yeah, we are shaking. This this right here is sad. Go back, go back a little bit. Listen to what she listen to what she said out loud. Mother and aunt left home to go drop off a friend. We left about, I don't know what time it was, because we went and dropped this dude off at home. Wait, 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 wait. What she said? We dropped this dude off. Well, I went, we, we went and dropped this dude off. We dropped we, a, a, yeah, a me, fellow crackhead like <laughs> us. We went and dropped this dude off. Come on, man. Some of this picture ain't right. I don't even have to be there. I know. This, Two she, and three. So, but she got kids. Listen. I guarantee she got kids. Like you said, Cap, they could have went either with them. Oh, both of them didn't have to go. Right. And they know, listen, they know their kids bad as hell. <laughs> they know them kids bad as hell. They know them kids bad as hell. They know they burnt the damn house down. <laughs> That's how bad the kids They, they try to cook some noodles at three. <laughs> 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 they try to cook some noodles and then burn that thing. Sorry, down. Israel. The, Sorry, man. Put a bowl through the noodles and turn that, crank that thing up. About to blow themselves up. All right, hey, and, uh, that, and that look like one of them houses where you have to turn turn the the, uh, the eye on, uh-huh. get the get the little match and and and, and, and put it on. <laughs> and a little tick. tick, 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 tick. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee that they went tick tick. Somebody did something. He ran in the back. She ain't ticking. even. She ain't even frantic. <laughs> no, wait, 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 you wait. Hold on. Keep on playing. We about to, not even frantic. Watch this. Keep on playing. About, I don't know what time it was, because we went and dropped this dude off at home so he had cut her grass and stuff. So we went and dropped her, him off at home. Sometime after that, 911 received a call from neighbors saying the house was on fire. Pulled up and we heard a lady hollering. And when she hollered, she was hollering two kids was in the house. Quita was calling me on the telephone and she was telling me the house was on fire. The house was on fire. And so we were hurrying up to get here. Neighbors say they heard screams coming from the home and rushed to the back door to try to rescue the two children. However, when they got there, the flames and smoke were too powerful for them to enter. It was really hurtful to hear kids and not holler. But I went for sure it was kids. I thought it was the radio. So by the time I tried to get in the hall, to find the flame. I mean, the smoke pushed me back out. It was too strong. I couldn't see nothing. Wow. So when they pulled them out, it, it really hurt in my heart that I couldn't get to them. They, they were just slumped over like rag dolls, you know. When they picked them up, the arms was down, their legs was just hanging, and, you know, everybody went into a Hold on, wait, 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 press pause. How Damn. You see how the men, look at the man's face. Look at his face. Look at the concern of the men. You know what I'm saying? We need to get back our communities. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't naturally protectors. We naturally born protectors. Listen, I'm going to get a scripture real quick after we finish watching it. You got something to say on this, Campbell? Finish playing that. Captain Hoshire, this is your city, bro. The hell is going on in Memphis, man? This that, this, this that the Memphis. The this Memphis is Memphis. <laughs> Memphis Wars. <laughs> Crackhead Wars. God. Get it together, Memphis. Go ahead. Go ahead, because I want to get ahead. on top of this. Go right. ahead. However, the children's aunt, who left the house with the mother, said she has no regrets about leaving the children home alone. No, I, I really don't, you know, because, I mean, if they had been there by their seven, I don't know how the house got caught on fire. I don't know if the boys set it on fire or somebody throw something in there to set it on fire. I really need to get in there and see that my purse burn up. Because <laughs> I had my food stamp card and everything in there. In Memphis, All right. Marcus Hunter, Fresh Bones, Fresh Bones. Fox 13. She didn't give wow. a damn about them kids. She has wow. no remorse whatsoever. Now, now, she didn't give now, a damn about those kids, now, man. Now, now, check this out. How long ago was this? That it's was 2013, like, right? Yeah. That's, now, now, these are the same women mm-hmm. raising these chicks was, today. 
right now. Mm-hmm. These hot girl summers, they're doing whatever they want to, sneaking out the house at, at 12. Mm-hmm. Oh, they over sexualize and everything. These are the type of mothers, aunts, and grandma that's raising these babies today. I mean, that's who they are today. And that's the fruits of it. Can I get a scripture? Go ahead. Get uh, Limitations 4 and start at verse 1. I'll because, oh, oh. no, I ain't going to get it then. I'm going to get to that. All right. Well, give me, um, <laughs> man, give me Deuteronomy 76. <laughs> hell, hell wrong with you. Uh, okay. Deuteronomy 7. <laughs> give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Y'all Sit stop trying to take over the damn class. <laughs> Hell wrong with him. <laughs> the book of Deuteronomy. Hey, Kevin, I didn't know. I'm knowing, sir. I didn't know, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> Chapter 7 and verse 6. Come on. For thou art an holy people unto our, the Lord thy God. Our people are the most holiest people on earth, bro. And we, mm-hmm. and the crazy part is, we can't fathom it, though. Mm-hmm. The conditions we in, uh, the things that happen to us, it's so, f- our mind is so far gone, bro. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. That's why. We need more men and women to step up, repent, and teach our people the uh, law, statutes, and commandments. It is paramount, paramount that we get our communities back in order. But it's going to take some change. And guess what? Niggas hate change. They don't want to do right. It is is what it is. And we're going to get to that. Read on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself, uh-huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So now we can get limitations for one. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me back myself up then. This, see, the one thing about, you know, our women, um, I know they think we hard on them, but it's all love, sisters. It's all love. And we mean that. You have to, uh, people like that, you have to talk like this. You have to. The scriptures say, who's going to stand up against the evil de- doers? we taking our communities back. We're taking our communities back. No longer we're just going to sit back and just watch. You do it just because you're a woman. No, we're going to say something. I don't care how you feel about it. Read that. You have to be taught to love your husband. Read that. Lamentations chapter. No, no. Um, Titus, no 2. Titus 2. Hey, why he getting that? Not only that, y'all, what's up? You know how hard it is to break the programming of programming of the white man yeah. that deliberately listen, this is by design. Yes, yes, yes. This ain't just oh the black woman just one day wanted to revolt against the black mm-hmm. man. No. This is by design. Mm-hmm. That's why the Willie Lynch letter is powerful to read because that's where it started. These are the effects of the Willie Lynch letters. Right? This is all the this this is the effects of that. Taking the man out the house, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Making sure the, the the young woman is strong, mm-hmm. the young boy weak, you know, weak in, weak in the mind. I forgot. What, I'm paraphrasing what it is. Basically, phys- yeah, physically strong, mentally, but mentally weak. Right, right. You know what I mean? And that's been that's what we try to recover from. Mm-hmm. And he said, "What you beat every bee out of her, but don't kill her because why? She's great for economics. Right? Who runs the world?" Who, Come on. Who's the biggest supplier of the world? Black folks. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. So it's all by design. It's all by design. So we you talking about we got a it's a mad demon on those sisters, bro. That we gotta we gotta break and we gotta correct you. What is right. what it is? Get, Go ahead. Get that in Titus 2 and verse 3. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. Read. The aged woman likewise. The aged woman likewise. Read. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Uh Uh-huh. They have to be holy. Scriptures say keeping his commandments is holy. That's how you become holy, by keeping God's commandments. Read on. Not false accusers. Mm -hmm. Not giving too much wine. And that's how women are today. They drunk. You know, what you say, hot girl summer? when When they say hot girl summer, that's talking about getting high and drunk. That's what that's talking about, and they having sex. That's a hot girl summer. No Read. No care in the world. Leave your kids in the car at a concert. Read. Teachers of good I things. Nice. Uh, Lil Wayne concert. Uh, my, uh, left a kid in the car. They got mad because somebody called on her. <laughs> the hell? Yeah, we supposed to sell on you. <laughs> in the car. Well, think, of, think, think about you, that kid. Left some snacks. You ain't <laughs> dying. You can't breathe. I remember one summer the kids was dying in cars, left and right. 
You remember that summer? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's on, that's on y'all watch. Yeah, I know, I know. What Cap said, yeah, we ain't gonna use that. Yeah, I'm, you get right. These laws gonna get you right. Read on. Teachers of good things mm -hmm. that they may teach the young women. You have to be taught. You don't know. You Esau, a lot of you talking about you just born with this and uh, you know how to love you. You just women, they just born with this enabled to this. Right. You know how they said the love and they got this thing in them nurturing. Dang, that's the word, the nurturing. Yeah, you do, but you got to be taught it. It's there. It, but you have to be taught it. You got to be brought out of you. You know what I'm saying? You just don't know it. You got to be taught. Read it. Read it. Read it again. Verse four: That they may teach the young woman to be sober. That they teach the young women. Now we know this ain't just talking about a woman because she's sixty years old. Because we seen that sixty year old woman looking just don't know nothing. We, listen, it's talking about somebody in the, in God's laws and in the truth who's been who's been around for a minute in understanding. Read. To love their husbands. To love. You have to be taught to love your husband. You just don't know how to love. You don't know. So just accept it and humble yourself and learn. Read. To love their children. To love your children. You mean, you mean to tell me that's love? That's love? You mean to tell me that's love with, the, uh, with that old, oh, I'm going to say this old ass woman? You understand? I'm trying to be nice, but I, it's hard to be nice when people... Who's like like this? Right. My grandmother was totally opposite from her. She's supposed to be the grandmother. Mm -hmm. I, my grandmother was a true grandmother who loved us, who fed us, right. who stayed at the house with us, didn't leave us there by ourselves because she knew we was bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or, or oh, we gonna, yeah, we're gonna burn the house down. Or yeah. or that grandmama, if they if they turn up stuff, hey, you come call the parents, come get your kids. Or I'll right. bring them to you. Right. <laughs> they ain't leaving them babies there, bro. You no, know what I mean? They ain't not. leaving them babies. All right, finish that off. To be discreet. To be what? Discreet. Uh-huh. Chaste. Keepers at home. Do what? Keepers at home. Not dropping it off for people. We got to drop off some people. And Come on, man. <laughs> Cat, what's wrong with them? How, 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 how Bishop say? Who raised you? <laughs> Go ahead, Kat. get get uh get limitations four and one. Hey, and I want you to and we were to go to the pictures here in a minute. Then we gonna get to the video. <clears throat> lamentations chapter four and verse one. Come on. How is the gold become dim? It says, "How does the gold become dim?" Mm -hmm. We are the most precious Please. thing on the planet right now, right? How does the gold become dim? It's talking about us. How do we fall? How do you go from gold? To 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 give me wood. Give me, to, yeah, to wood. <laughs> Stubble wood. <laughs> to gravel. That's what we went to. From gold to gravel. They call it fool's gold. <laughs> you, you turn in, your neck turning green. <laughs> your hand turning green. Remember that when you was a the, kid? The, your the, hand, uh, you run, you run. You got that fake gold on. That's what that's what we were about. Old finger about, about to fall, fall off. off. Yeah. Keep going. How is the most fine gold changed? How is the most fine gold changed? We've, we've lost our way. Big time. We've fallen off the horse too many times, man. It's time to get ourselves together. And from the 1920s up to, like, what you saying, like the 60s, bro, we was trying 60s, to uh -huh. keep the family together as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Right? Then when, when, women's rights movement came. And then everything went to hell. But it was yeah. a plan. Crack it was a plan. Crack, crack epidemic. Crack epidemic, mm -hmm. all that stuff. More single parent households and et cetera. We got we to gotta get back right. Come on. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. Come on. The precious sons of Zion, uh -huh. comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? The so so give, me, give me, uh, let's pull these pictures up. We finna go from thought from, from 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 God's chosen, not these pictures. I need the, the uh, old old pictures. Yeah, these pictures right here. Look at these women right here. These women is modest. You see how modest they dressed, mm -hmm. right? Legs closed. Right. They ain't all up in somebody's face. These sisters just chilling right here. Look at the men dressed up. Got the hat on. That's how we were back in the day. Next picture. Debonair. Look at this. 
Beautiful, sisters, man. Beautiful sisters. Beautiful. Fully clothed. Legs crossed. You ain't seeing no 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 freaking gorilla uh fist. And <laughs> listen, these these chicks nowadays they trying to show the print like they got yeah. like like that's the the gray pa- gray sweatpants for women. They trying to show that thing Disgusting. off. Disgusting. Yeah, I'm like, come on, man. I know y'all got some some bacteria infections going on right now. You know what I mean? I know y'all y'all need some. What, what is it? what's that stuff that they put on there? Uh, what did uh, Jim Carrey say on uh, me myself and I? <laughs> he said a little extra cheese on your taco. <laughs> <laughs> She had that cream to, to clear some stuff up. He's like, a little extra cheese on your taco. Like, ooh. Ugh. But these women right here dress modestly. Right? This is where we're trying to get our sisters back to. This is where sisters was, was submitting to their husband. Understanding their roles. Next picture. That's how we rolled out. Bro, got a whole zoo suit on. Dope jacket. That's, that's how we rolled back in the day. And guess what, Cap? The the kids was was in subjection as well. Heck yeah. They wasn't disrespecting none of these. No. None of these their, their brother and their sister Heck like no. they do now. Heck no, you full respect. Even the kids was dressing like this. Right. They wouldn't have their pants half off their ass and all that. They was they had respect. Come on, next picture. This is a family photo. A man in the household. You can't tell me that man ain't getting three three or four meals a day going out there working. For the pennies, but she ain't complaining though. That's right. She she making sure she got her stuff done. But nowadays you gotta pay me. The sisters like you gotta pay me money. You gotta pay me. Next picture, another picture of them. Yeah. Bro, our people. These are these are, the fa- are beautiful, bro. This is our family photos. Mm-hmm. But you look today and you see family photos. You see advertisement. Who is it? Black woman with black ki- with, with kids by themselves. And if you see them with somebody, it's with a white man. But Kev, can, I, can I say something about these pictures? You see how the the, the family is around the man. It's like they he's the, he's the support. You can see he's the support. System. He's the support. He's, he's the, the king. The provider. He's the king. He's Everything. sitting down. Everybody standing up, reverencing him. Absolutely. He's the he's the he's the the, the cornerstone in the family. He ain't, yeah, he ain't he ain't smiling. He ain't and taking it, no shit. Robot. And listen, because we don't <laughs> exactly. we don't smile. Guys. Right. We don't play. You know what I'm saying? We admit. I just got home and you you, you want to take some pictures? <laughs> My damn bunions is hurting like like a bug. Right now. Take the picture, boy. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Bet you money. He come home. Kids probably say, "Hey, daddy," and they leave him alone for about two or three hours. Let yeah. him wind down. Yeah. You know, while the mama's cooking dinner, she know exactly when he's getting off. Mm-hmm. He ain't worried about going and go go messing no chicks. He's going home to a, to a home cooked meal to his family. Right nowadays, Negro don't even want to come home. They go to work, go to the gym, go take go go grab some drink, go to the pot in the house. And they like, man, I gotta go home now. <laughs> Shoot, smile for what? We in captivity. Yeah, he he look. He, that's when I'm going back to what you say. He's he, you don't know what how Esau treated them. You know what I'm saying? He got he, treated like crap. He, right. right. Crap. And, and listen, but guess what? He went home and a, the, the family loved him. Oh, yeah. You understand? And, and not only that, he wasn't going home to smoke no, no weed, do no. some type of drugs. Mm-hmm. He dealt with the issue. He understood what he was up against. Mm-hmm. When he get up, go out that door and come back. He understand what he's up against. And, and I want this too, Cam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. A lot of things, a lot of uh, people think our women was being beat and stuff. They, you know, that that uh, that movie Color Purple had to gave our, our men a black eye. Gave our men a black eye. No, our men were strong back then. That's right. They were strong. They took care of their uh, their families. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you have a few knuckleheads here and there, but I'm talking about as a whole. No, our <clears throat> we was the most married in the country. Right. We was the most. We was the strongest family in the country. The Esau was mad at us. And, and you know what, y'all? So think about the color purple, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and think about what happened in that. In that answer. when we grew up, we like, man, that's a good movie. That's a classic. But it de- it really demeaned the black family by you know what I mean. Him beating Mister, beating up, you know, doing all that stuff that, while she was being submissive. You know what I mean? That was a plan. That was that was a reason. That's why they came out like that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, we look at it from like 
from now being the truth and looking back, I'm like, man, this is a bad life for us. Right. That ain't how things was rolling. Right. You know what I mean? And and that's how they put it. The man, was it Hoppo? The simp, soft as hell. The woman running them. They, they, they wasn't doing that back then. Oh, no, man. The hell are they talking about? Yeah. They weren't doing that. All right? Mm-hmm. Now, uh, let's let's get uh, get some of those pictures. Now, let's see what, what the women looking like today. No, not those. The dress. You see how our women was was dressed in in modest apparel. This is everyday stuff right here. You see that? You see how she's dressed? Boobs out. You you almost can see a butt cheek from the from the split. This is everyday. Yeah, that's casual. This, this casual. That's casual dressing. This is what men expect a wife to go out and dress like. This is what we. This is what we fallen from, from being modest, subjection under the husband, to this. And be mad in the club <clears throat> when you're looking at her. Why are you looking at my woman? Why are you looking at my woman? She's dressed like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and men do that for attention as well. You know what I mean? Now go to the next picture. She ain't pitch. know what no dude. Look at this. Look at this. And, it, and you be simp Negroes. With, with skinny jeans on, with a dookie staying in their drawers. <laughs> These are the type of men that they attract that might have a little money. These rappers and all that. And this is what they want. The man they can, they can control. Hey, right. Go back. I want to show y'all something. Go back to the other uh, picture, the one before. Look at that thing. They on her head. I thought that was a raccoon or something. I don't know what that is on her head. That thing. I hey, know it's stink. Hey, like you can say... <laughs> you pull that thing off. It's that. <laughs> it got a oh suction. Got a suction cup under that. Bro, that, that sucker. Like, it, it's scary, bro. That thing got all kind of. It's and Go to the club. It smell like cigarettes and all types of. Th- how, how, how do you do it, bro? They had that down here for like six months. <laughs> she six spent months. about three thousand dollars for that that crap, right? Right. Now, let's uh, let's get this the, the video. With Dr. Umar Johnson, let's get let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this because we ain't gonna have a lot of time. This Negro right here, all right. You got the times right. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. Let's play it. And this is what I mean. This is this is what this is the reason why we going on this is going from how we was dressing from modesty and so forth, right? Even though we wasn't keeping the laws like that, we still understood certain things. You know what I mean? Being modest. Uh, taking care of each other, building communities. In the 1920s is when we was what? Building our own stuff. Right. We was coming together. We put our money together. We built communities. Right. You know what I mean? We need the black woman to have babies so we can continue to build. Now, they all gay. They don't want no Negro or they just want to be a baby da- baby mama to, you know, four different men. That just, and don't build, and ruin the kids. Right. Completely ruin them forever where they ain't productive no more. So we got to change that. But it's Negroes like this that want to keep the black woman the way she is. He don't, And they get mad at men like Kevin Samuels for correcting them. Yep. Yep. How dare you correct black women, nigga? You messing? You get? You, you, you getting in my pockets? Goddamn me! That's what he. That's yeah, basically that's what, what he said. Let's read. Let's let's watch this video. Now let me say this because I've been getting questions about these black male. Hold on! Stop! 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 What's wrong with his eyes? I Hold always on. want to know what's wrong with his oh. eyes. Bro. I'm sorry. He's trying to think of what the hell <laughs> deep he gonna <laughs> about to say. <laughs> Notice sorry, he's y'all. listen. This this is a tactic, bro. Y'all gotta check this out. Notice he's at the school. Who's paying for, who's giving donations to the schools? Black single women. That's what they're so doing. He, so the school was built? The school, he bought us, supposedly bought the school. Right? He's still asking for donations. Whatever. I don't even really care about that. But it's black women that funds this school. Right? <laughs> notice he's at the school. And you always notice how the scenes change. Right? But the topic is the same. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga is a master. <laughs> He's a master crook, bro. Let's read it. Let's watch it. Questions. Random. About these black male 
life coaches, these uncredentialed, uncertified, untrained, YouTubian black male life coaches. Stop. Stop. How dare these Negroes on YouTube tell the black woman to get their shit in order? How dare these black men tell these men to get their stuff in order? This is basically what he's saying. Because all the men he's talking about talks about the same thing. Come on, read it. Go ahead. YouTubian black male life coaches. I'm not here to knock nobody. <laughs> I'm disappointed in a lot of my sisters. <clears throat> I am disappointed in a lot of black women because I thought that our sisterhood was evolving How? to a place. Stop. How? So the sisterhood involved, evolving. How? Where do you see that at? I can't watch this dude, man. <laughs> you already getting pissed. I'm he just started. Can't, bro, I can't watch oh, you got to what? Right? That's what I'm saying. Where are all the black women dude. evolving at? I can't watch this dude, bro. <laughs> my, I tell you, bro, my stomach right now is brawling right now, bro. I'm so mad. <laughs> you know why? What is my... It's them peppers and... Uh... <laughs> Uh, and gives us gives a <laughs> Yeah, that hot sauce <laughs> draped on it. Your eyes blinking a hundred times a minute. Man, get to the point and say what you got to say, man. Listen, this is a attack. This is a shot at at men. Not only no, listen. That's not only Kevin Samuels though, and these men. It's talking about us too. Y'all realize the Israelites that's that's demanding these women to get their stuff together and men. We got to change. So this talking about us. That's why I'm taking this personal because. Negro, you talking about us too. Right. You know what I mean? Go ahead. That our sisterhood was evolving to a place that would not tolerate. Stop. It's, oh, pause it. <laughs> now, what the hell is he doing? Now, the sisterhood is evolving, right? That's what he's saying. But then again, you just showed a, you just sent the video of who is it, City Girls? Yeah. It's a panel of women. And what are they doing? They're talking crazy. This is this is what he's talking about. It's a sisterhood circle, right? They're talking about their issues, right? But they're talking about BS. Right. Cheating on their man, he got a little piece, or or a man can't do nothing if he ain't got money. And this what he can't he can't provide for me and this, this, and that. And you can't just you can't give me the bag. That's what these women is talking about today. How is that in evolving? Right. Where? What is nigga all talking about? But come on. I thought black sisterhood was evolving to a place that would not tolerate slander and degradation of black women on any level for any reason. Mm. Wait, I press pause. Blacks. Now nah, I'm about to call him on his bull. <laughs> I'm about to call him hey, on his oh, bull. You bring it out. Hey, we go. We go. I'm about to call on him on his bull. Bring it out. Hold on. He just say that he upset because no no one is being no they ain't calling these sisters out. These sisters ain't calling these other sisters out. Or whoever calling out because of the the what the desecration? How you what do you say? Degradation. Degradation of the women, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what is rap? Right. What is rap? They talking about them also. He, I don't, I, he ain't talking about no rappers. But but I'm saying he he what he just got upset about Cam right. Samuels. Mm -hmm. he, he, that's why. Yeah. No, because men start to listen to him. Men is getting tired of the same stuff that Kevin Samuels is talking about. It ain't got nothing to do with no high value, nothing. Right. They're getting tired it's of these men, period. Own line. As women, bro, and they wonder why black men is going outside of the black woman. Right. It is what it is. Right. It's because they're not getting it together. They're getting worse. They're getting worse. But even with that, even with that, we still, we still will choose a black woman. We still choose our black. Woman. I'm talking about the that's the percentage, the, the majority. The, the, yeah, we still choose our black woman. You know what I'm saying? But, we, it's, a, but it's a lot of men that they talk about. We, they always bring it up. Men dating outside of. Out of black women, well, they're going to not necessarily white women. They going to more Hispanic mm -hmm. women, mm -hmm. right? They mm -hmm. love how the Northern Kingdom women is treating their husbands. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You see a Hispanic uh, cat go out and working. Mm -hmm. I mean, he got a freaking meal stacked up. He's straight. He don't spend no money when he go out. 
He got tortillas and 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 all types of stuff. Yeah. Burritos. Clothes he got turned. Y'all was right by now. the door. He got everything. Everything. Yeah. everything. And he come home and get fed again. What you yeah. go, y'all saw what? Yeah, this is crazy too. That's true. But they <laughs> that's, that's true. crazy too. That's, that's, wrong with them that's too. true. But they ain't leaving their wife like that. <clears throat> nah. Are they? No. They ain't having those problems. They ain't having those problems. No. Nah. They ain't having the same problems black folks is having. Mm-hmm. I mean, here and there, of course, every mm-hmm. every race got every mm-hmm. every tribe or whatever mm-hmm. got their own issues. Mm-hmm. But that's where black men is going to. The more mm-hmm. Spanish, the more mm-hmm. you know, uh, more submissive women. Mm-hmm. Black women over here is way too dominant. Way too dominant. They don't want to change. But they want, yeah, they no. want to be the men, bro. How? Listen, everybody know that's a man. If I was to come stand in your face, Yaku, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I want, you know, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then it sounded like DMS and, DMX and stuff. Yeah. You going, like, I'm like, who the hell are you talking to? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just by, we are men by nature, like, just by nature and, and ourselves, like, there's something in you going to be like, hold on, who the hell is she talking to? Are you, are you, are you, you crazy? crazy? Well, right. That's what I'm saying. This, it's, <clears throat> it, that's how you was built. That's how God built you. No man gonna go to no other man and stand over him and do do this and be parting in his face. Why would you take a woman with who's weaker than the, that man? Right. Dude Why teeth, would you do it? Dude, teeth to be on the floor. That's what I'm right. saying. Why would you do it? Right. Get his face play, fixed for real. Play the video. It's more. Listen, we're gonna be on this video for a while. All right. So we're gonna be breaking it up. Hopefully, we can get to the other ones, but we're gonna be on this video because it's Damn, a lot. Damn, twenty seven minutes. No, Ooh, I couldn't stomach this thing. It ain't gonna be straight. It's no, I'm, no, I'm just saying. Go he ahead. actually did a 25. No, it ain't just him. Okay. It's, it's gonna be black women that. You, you'll see. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Any level for any reason. I thought, black sisters, that you guys were getting to a place. You sisters, you queens, my beautiful black goddesses. <laughs> there it go. I you all were there it go. to a place. <laughs> there it where you go. Were not Wait, wait. Press play. Wait. I mean, press pause. Press pause. So, Cap, the woman we opened up the video, she's the queen and goddess, the one who left her kids to burn up and die to go the, drop off two people. Yes. Uh, that's who he's this talking dude, about. I'm going to drop off this dude. That's the, that's the queen? Be dropping off dudes? That's her. That's her. My beautiful black queens. You stay exactly how you are. Listen, our people have have really fallen, bro. We We really think... Being in this horrible state is the right thing. Go to go to uh, Job right quick. Go to Job seventeen and give me the twelfth verse. Job chapter seventeen and verse twelve. Uh-huh. Start at verse eleven. Verse eleven. Start at verse ten. Job chapter seventeen and verse ten. Come on. But as for you all, do ye re- return and come now? For I cannot find one wise man among you. Come on. My days are past. My purposes are broken off. Even the thoughts of my heart. Mm -hmm. They change the night into day. So they change the night into day. Come on. The light is short because of darkness. The light is short because of darkness. Our people choosing to sin. They choosing to be wicked. You can't tell me these, these these women don't know that they wrong. You can't tell me that. Because, like you said, nature, they know they're not built like that. Men ain't, come on, men ain't built like that. Men, come on. These men that's, that's, that's talking crazy on these rap songs, exploiting our women and our, our sisters, and you can't tell me they don't think it's wrong? Right. You can't right. tell me they don't know it. They don't want that to happen to their daughters? No. They'll, they'll shoot, they'll kill somebody if somebody did it to their daughter. Right. You know what I mean? But guess what? But you'll talk about it. Our people is bugged out. Go ahead, finish playing that. Would not approve of Eurocentric slander <laughs> and degradation and debasement and undue attacks on your integrity as a black woman. So, Paul. But I'm seeing black. <clears throat> so, what he's saying is you know what Kevin Samuels do, right? He called women on their ish. Mm-hmm. You need to be doing this. You need to find you a regular man that's going to take care of you and stop trying to look for this high-value man. You know what I mean? Stop doing that. You're wasting yourself or you don't or 
You don't respect the, the regular man that pr- want to provide for you and want to and want to take care of the kids, stay in the home. They don't respect men like that. They don't even respect their fathers that raised them. They don't respect it. That's the people that we in. This nigga make me sick. I know. You this know. nigga make me sick. Listen, this a nigga, a nigga like this, he's a liar. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's 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 a liar for real, man. I'm trying not to. Y'all don't even laugh. I'm sitting up here, y'all making me laugh. I'm sitting up here telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? Telling you what these brothers are doing. These men are straight lying. These are the ones who leave their kids. These are the ones who leave their kids. This, this Negro right here, these type of men right here lied to you, calling you a queen when you know you ain't right. <laughs> you know you ain't right. You go, somebody going to call you a, a, a queen? You don't quack. You don't crack. You know, you know what no, I'm saying? You, but you a goddess. You're right. You're on quack. It's, you know what I'm saying? Shit worse than crack. <laughs> <laughs> you on a lot of I'm shit. I'm messing with y'all cold. I'm messing with y'all cold, but I can't tell. Hey, hey, listen. You got what I said, didn't you? Hey, hey, let's let's get let's continue with the video because it's more to this. Come on. Women out of their thirst for male validation entertain some of these Negroes who have no history of organizing in the black community. So hold on, stop, pause that. Now, you heard what he just said, right? The women that's going to Kevin Samuels and to speak to him are women, I can believe, that actually want to change. They want to get themselves together, right? You know what I mean? Some of them, they, they kind of like want to go back and forth with them. They had that, 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 you know, that rebuttal. But a lot of these women is going to him because they like, damn, this dude is right. I'm going to listen to him. You know what I mean? You're right. A lot of sisters come back and say, man, you fixed my marriage. He tell these women, oh, you divorced? You ain't, you ain't. Go back to your husband. Go back. Why, why? You got a kid sitting out here with no father. Y'all single. Go back to your husband. But guess what? Negroes like that don't want that to happen because they prey on black women to be like that. That's why they call them beautiful queens and mother of the earth and all that. You know what they're actually calling you when they call you the, 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 the you butter garlics and the, and you, you in your field? They calling you stupid. You stupid. They saying you simple. They really calling you simple. They're like, I can I can play my game on her. She's stupid. That's what he's really. That's what they really doing. Modern day pimping. That's what they really doing. That's what these pastors is doing. Modern day pimping. You ain't right. Look, I don't want to be around nobody, Cap. If they can't tell me I'm out of pocket, absolutely. I don't want to be around them. And you should not be around them either. Because if you can't, criticism is what causes growth. If you can't take criticism, you, it's, it's impossible for you to grow. Period. Because none of us is perfect. We all got something we deal with that we need to change and we need to fix. So these women don't think, they think they perfect. They think they can buy some, some, some boobs and a butt and some cheekbones that they straight now. They got, they got, they got everything they need in the world because Negroes is paying them right. money. But they bugged out. They bugged out. They are a hindrance to... Our communities, big time. They're a danger. Press play. Uh, back in 2013, I interviewed you when I worked with Madame Noir, okay. uh, and we had, you know, a, a viral moment. We talked about black women and boundaries, and, and you said we were out of order. <laughs> we're still out of order. <laughs> so, I so a woman, so right after what he just said, this woman just, you know, she do a lot of, you know, relationship counseling and stuff, right? He, she said. We out of order. We still out of order. We need more women like this to say, hey, listen, y'all, y'all out of pocket. You sisters out of pocket. But guess what? They wouldn't respect her. They'll, they'll dog her out, cuss her out, want to fight her, as you've seen before in her videos. They even want to get at her for telling her the truth. You fix your ish. Come on. Order. <laughs> it's still out of order. <laughs> Tell us why you say we're still out of order. Check this out. Um, I think now because we get paid to be out of order. Now. Yeah, what? Okay. Press, come on, bro. The ways that we behave and treat each other publicly. Press and pause. Women, we have- Press pause. She said, the reason why we out of order is because we get paid it's to be profitable. out of order. It's profitable for you to be out of order. So exactly what I said earlier about um, the Willie Lynch letter, getting a man outside the home, it's made for. It's, it's, it's a, it said a black woman is good for economics. They get paid for, to, to do this. This is why you can't get uh, certain assistance when, when the father's in the home. 
You know what I mean? You can't be on Section 8 if the father's in a home. Right. You can't get sooner care if the father's in a home. You got to be a single mother. Bro, they get benefited off being the way that they are. Mm. That's, 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 that's what they are today. You know what I mean? They are a, this is why they rule. That's why I always say this is, this is the lineup. It's the white man, the black woman, the white woman, and the black man. Right. Wow. Period. They even over the white woman, bro. Because they rule the world. The black, these black women, bro, is what make money move for, for, the, for Esau. And they know it. Great, yeah. And Negroes get killed behind it. They lose their they family behind it. They lose their kids behind it. They go to jail behind it. The black woman got to get their shit together. Straight up. That's right. Facts. And we ain't going to stop until y'all do. We're going we gonna to keep calling y'all out on y'all ish. But guess what? You black men, too. Press play. I've never been subject to the kind of examination uh, that our men have been subject to since we have been here. We have been somewhat protected and shielded from any kind of critiquing about our personal Press behavior. Press pause! Whereas I this talk completely against what Umar Johnson was just talking about. Mm. Completely against what he's... This is a black woman. This is a black woman that's saying, listen, we've been protected. Go back a little bit so we can hear this again. We're going to replay a little bit. Re Come on. To the kind of examination Examining yourself. Uh, that our men have been subject to since we have been here. Pause. We have been. So men always been examining themselves because we deal with the real shit. We go out into the world, we really deal with the real stuff, the, the discrimination, the racism. You know what I mean? Uh, other nations coming against us. Even our own women coming hey, against us. We always was told the truth. You're short, you're ugly, you're fat. <laughs> you're, we, was all, we always was told the truth. You can't talk right, you, you do this, you, you stink, all that. You we always was dealt with the truth. We men, we took it. Right. We took it for years and we're still taking it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We have to deal with truth, ladies. We have to. It's your turn now. Goddamn right. It's your turn now. Plus this white. is what it is. Uh, that our men have been subject to since we have been here. We have been somewhat protected and shielded from any kind of critiquing about our personal behavior. Whereas our men have always been up for examination. Mm. I want to press, fully step into my role as an... Now... That sister right there will be spitting some fire. Yes, she, she be spitting some fire. And she be doing it for years. She's still doing it to this day. You know what I mean? I just seen her on a dang Zoom call. You're going to see her on this video. You know what I mean? And about our sisters getting their stuff in order. We all out of order. Just like this woman right here said. What's her yeah. name? Uh, Ay Ayala? Ay Ayala Benzen. Yeah. They have been saying this for years, but they don't respect... Women like this, though. They think of their mm. joke. You got you something y'all say? I, I mean, she all right. No, I, I'm just saying. Like she, she is all right, but she talked to us like we puppies and stuff. I, just, I, I get what you're saying. She's all right. But she do hold, try yeah, to she, hold she, the black she, woman yeah, she do, accountable she do. for I, what they doing. I, I'm kind of strict. I'm kind of strict. Whatever. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just saying. Danielle, let me tell you this. Let me tell you something. Beyonce made an empire off of... Uh, Single black women. Off of, off of, how you said? Um, Single black you know, well, single lady, but you, you just mentioned no, you just mentioned it, getting paid off of, of um uh getting paid off of our foolishness. Oh, oh get 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 paid to be uh out of order. Out of order, yes. Right. She made listen, the whole while she said to the left to the left, it's all the single ladies, she was married, y'all. Do you realize this woman was she, married? She wasn't to the left in nothing. That's what I'm saying. Everything she was teaching, she wasn't living that. She made she lied to y'all. Right. You up there, yeah. How, how, uh, how um real um Martin said, F him girl. F him. F him girl. <laughs> you in the court, you in the you you mad at your man, you in the club talking about F him. You know what I'm saying? That's not how we should be. You supposed to be fixing your marriage. Right. That's what you and a, and a lot of people, a lot of our people was believers in God. But the farther you step away from God, you know, God stepped away from you. And you know what's crazy? That's why you don't believe no more. You, you can't tell me, even though Beyonce being in the stardom that she was in, mm -hmm. that she going home talking crazy to Jay-Z. 
and she ain't doing Hell what she's no. supposed to do as a wife. You crazy. Hell now, no. Now, now, that, that. JG stepped out and everything. Listen, yeah, he had a whole fight with her sister. <laughs> it was some lies. Fight it out today. <laughs> you know what I mean? He ain't going for that. He don't care how much money she make, how big she is. He ain't going for that. But guess what? Her music, she's where she's at by making other sisters like that. You know what I mean? Not like, you know, to do go against the man, single ladies, scrubs, mm -hmm. all that. All their music was to be what? To, to make the black woman go against the man. Can I, uh, when you finish this, can I back up um, you with Umo Johnson, the type of man he is? Yeah. Oh, we, you're going to have a lot to say about him. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what's the next? What's the next uh, stopping point? I just like that man. Go to it. No, no, you missed some stuff. What's I put? I put it in there. The time. This is where you at right here. Go, go right, right, go back. The times is in there. Come on, media. I got the time in there. All right, go ahead and play it. This we can talk. So, you know, ahead, like, like like we said before, <clears throat> Beyonce she made a fortune on our on our um, on our ignorance. You know what I'm saying? Our, on our being out of order. They hey. made money off it. They make money off it, y'all. Us hey. being out of order, they make money off it. Us killing each other, they make money off it. Hey, hey, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you remember when we talking about Beyonce coming home and what she's teaching. Remember when it just happened. Remember, remember when uh, Cardi B mm -hmm. made the song WAP, right? When she was yeah. talking about she, she do all this and she ain't cooking and cleaning. <laughs> but her ass got on her and apologized because her husband <laughs> was like, you, you cook and clean all the time. He, yeah. he did a video. Yeah, Her ass right. cleaning. <laughs> but they're sweeping. Yeah, sweeping yeah. up like uh, I'm doing my wifely duty. Listen, it's okay. these women is 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 bamboozling these young sisters, hey, bro. I'm gonna tell you. And she, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go sorry. ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, but she would cut the music off when her kid run in the room. There's a video on that too. She's playing the music right. and then her kid comes in the room. Uh, Cardi B. So no, that means that she, she know that she cut up. So she. So you mean she knows that. The music is trash, and her daughter shouldn't be listening. Right. To it. So, right. so what you saying, Daniela, is she was listening to something that was she was listening to like her music or something? Or she yeah, was, she was listening to her own music. Uh huh. And when her daughter ran into the room, she cut it off. No, it ain't right. So she only her own kid listen to it. Right. But she know your kids are listening to it, right. and she don't speak against it. Right. These people lie to you, and you mad at us because we tell you the truth. You mad at us because we're telling you they misusing you and they taking advantage of you. Well, get mad, baby, because I'm going to keep on telling you. You same, understand Hey, me? same thing with the rappers. They sitting up here saying they, they killing this and killing that, selling drugs and doing this, and they really not doing it, but they got our youngsters out hey, there thinking that's uh, cool and doing uh, it. Young Jeezy. Young Jeezy just had a kid that graduated from college, right. went through private school his whole, his whole life, graduated from college. That dude ain't trapping. That dude buying properties and everything. He ain't teaching about buying properties, is he? He's still, no. he's still, uh, he's still uh, what's the name, the snowman. But guess what? He own, he own a lot of property in Atlanta. But you ain't teaching brothers to do that? You can tell the brother had some type of mind. He, he wasn't had that type of nigga mindset because how he handled himself against the Jeezy and... Um, oh, yeah, the video. The, I mean, the, uh, the, the, the verses. The verses. The verses, yeah. Now, if y'all watch that, that that verses, on that verses, like, a nigga, if you... If, how, uh, what's his name? Gucci Man? How Gucci. he... How he... When yeah, he straight. said it, how he talk? He's a straight nigga. I'm, no, I'm just saying, yeah. he, will, he was trying to push his buttons, but he's not like that, y'all. Jeezy ain't like that. It's just rap. It's just rap to him. Those those brothers they they going home today. Men out of homes, uh, feeding their kids. Um, uh, um, pizza, pizza. And, no, no, they ain't feeding. They getting the they getting the the, the good stuff. They going to uh, yeah, they no, what's them the, the Whole Foods? They going to Whole Foods. They eating. Oh, <laughs> uh, they eating eggs without the yolk in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they eating spinach. What else? I'm just egg whites. Egg you white, they white? egg whites. You gonna buy that one? <laughs> no, I'm just. I don't know. I'm you talking about poached, poached eggs? Yeah, they eat poached <laughs> eggs. 
Hey, 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 Captain, he talking about the little small legs. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, you cut it open with a fork and yeah. uh, with a fork hey, and man. knife. They, they eat. I can't. I don't hey, know that stuff. Hey, y'all see, y'all stop getting to be a millionaire. He gonna be bougie as hell. <laughs> Y'all, hey, y'all, suck gonna have the finest food, finest meats with marble in it. Hey, <laughs> Poached eggs. You gonna what? eat another boiled egg ever? And guess what? I'm gonna share. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Enos. Wow. All right, <laughs> All right let, let's 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 get to some more of this because we don't have a lot of time. I know we ain't gonna get be able to get through everything. But let's watch some more of this, man. Twelve different. YouTube and beta male wannabe life coaches that are out there slandering black women, attacking black women, degrading black women. I count about a dozen. I'm gonna call them the dirty dozen of division. Talk to you about this uh, movement. And I talked to you a little bit about it before when we had that interview last year uh, with Son Edder. Shout out to Son Edder. Uh Listen, you, you probably can't talk to this sister if you ain't, if you ain't uh, modest. All these sisters right here, you ain't seeing no breasts, no nothing. They got some little respect. I don't know how they are, but you can tell by the video they got a little bit of respect for this woman. Because she'll probably call their ass out on her. You know what I mean? He two sisters' heads covered. Sisters got a, got a freaking turtleneck on. You ain't showing nothing. Yeah. Respectable sister. These sisters, it's, it's pretty sisters. You can be like that. Right. She ain't for the... Man, I'm telling you, she'll call it uh, sisters... Breast hanging out. Oh, she gonna give her the booze right, right here. But go ahead. Um, now the brothers are giving up, and they're calling it a movement like make men going on their own way. Um, uh, the red pill. What I was talking men about earlier. Men are calling it the manosphere. They're saying, forget about it. We're done with the black woman. We're gonna tell her to go her way. Have you heard about this movement? Uh, I have heard it a lot, but you have to remember they're dealing with decades. Of resistance oh my God. and hostility, listen, and having their money taken, and not being able to have a proper meal to even eat. And if any sister is looking for a man, she need to go to the grocery store around five or six o'clock. Because they all in line. Ain't gonna be Whole Foods. All lined up trying to get a plate of food for ten dollars. Wow. Now press, press pause. Right. Press pause. And this is why. Get uh Jeremiah thirty one and twenty two. Give me Jeremiah 31 to 22. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 22. Oh, let me get it right quick. All right, go ahead. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? Uh -huh. For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. But this is... Read it again. Read it. Read it one more time. I'm sorry. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. That's a new thing in the earth that a woman shall surpass a man. Remember what she just said about women going through decades of resistance from the black woman, right? So that means over time, the black woman has fallen or, or was trying to wiggle her way into wearing the pants in the relationship, right? And this is why, like she was talking about, the lady at the top was talking about the manosphere. Uh, men, men wanting to go out because the women is out of order. They tired of it. They are tired of dealing with the black woman, and they and they most of them is the same. They bugged out. You know what I mean? They think they are men. They think they are better than men. They think they're more successful. They think they're smarter. They think they everything over the man, and that's why. And they're gonna. And that's why they bump heads. That's why we bump heads with the black woman. That's a problem. You know what I mean? They cool with being thoughts. As long as they get, they, they can be on OnlyFans all day. Like they get that money. You know what I mean? Sex sells. So they 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 can do whatever they want to do. They don't have to respect the man. That's that's what's going on right now on YouTube. They ain't got to respect men because I can get the bag by myself. That's all women care about is money. Money, money, money. That's all they care about. If you got money, you can hit anything in the world. Straight up. You could be the ugliest Negro ever. You know what I mean? You got money, you, you could do whatever nowadays. Uh, Ply said something heavy. He said his homegirl was talking about getting her boobs 
and her butt done. He said, you ain't going to do nothing but track an ugly nigga with, with money. Right. He said, because rich Negroes that, that's, that's decent don't want that. They want natural women. Right. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy. Go ahead. These women always talking about they want a good man, but they carry themselves the most sluttiest way. They don't carry themselves in, in a good way, but they want something good. You got, you got to realize this. You could, be, you could be pretty and all of that. If your personality is trash, you ugly to us. Right. Straight up. That's what people ain't, they ain't bringing that out. I don't give a dang how fine you. you. You trash and your personality trash and you whack. You ugly. Yeah, you look like them toes on, on, <laughs> high, uh, on boomerang. <laughs> you know how Adam Murray would put them toes in the stomach? <laughs> yeah. See, just leave them alone. Yeah. That's, that's your personality, them toes. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. had some? Yeah, I had some. Get, play this video. This is how the rappers really talk, y'all. This is the, they, they, they say one thing, but this is how they really is right here. Play that. Play that. This, this is how they really are. Hello and good evening. It's me. What? It's me. What? It's me. Little John. Okay. I feel lonely. I feel like I just need to talk to someone who will understand. And well, that someone is you, John. Okay. So, don't press. Like all right, just gonna take it off. What, what I'm saying, they showing he don't actually talk like that. He don't. Actually, he don't be like he's the one in the red. That's him. Yeah. He's an educated man. He, what you see in them videos. Yeah, Lil John is, 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 is brilliant, yeah. They say that about Slim Doug, too. Slim Doug's e educated. Uh, Lil Wayne got freaking the degree. Mm -hmm. Bruh, <laughs> listen, he went to Mac Two chains, two chains. Anybody know about Mac Man? He went to, that's a private, like, you, you had to pay to go to that school, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You had to keep a certain GPA just to stay in there. Mm. And he kept it. He went beyond that. This is the way now. These guys are, listen, these guys not like they, they, they sold our, they sold us up the river. Yeah. You understand? They part of the problem too. Well, not, not, not the. Yes. Mo, yeah, they part of the problem. Yes. The hell with it. I don't give a damn how they are, but the music. Yes. And what they do, exploiting the sisters, making everything, you know, about buying women. All this stuff is about women, bro. They, they get the money for who? The little thoughts is out there. That's all it is. Instagram gave these women a platform. And if it go away, you, we probably wouldn't have as many problems, to be honest with you. Because that's, that's what they stand on, Instagram, YouTube. They got too much exposure right now. And money is so subjective. I mean, it's so obtainable for them. So they really don't have to listen to a black to a man, especially a black man correcting them. I ain't got to have nothing with you. I can go somebody else, you know, with money or whatever and do what I want to do. But go back to the video. Go back to that video. That's and great. I tell the sisters, if you start cooking, oh, he'll come by your house. He'll show up and he'll sit there a while, Okay. As it stands now, a man can't even ask a woman, can she cook? Mm. That's a turn off. And she'll get rid of him if she if he says, hey, baby, can you cook? Pause. What she's saying is facts. Get that picture. Get that picture. I just seen that today. This was on Twitter. This is on this was on Twitter. Come on, man. You this got is, the picture? This is sad. Look at look at the sister just said it. Effing tired of cooking. I want to wear a whole dress in a restaurant. You tired of cooking? You just want to be a slut? I'm tired of cooking. So obviously she must got a man there that's, that, that she's dealing with. And he demanding her to cook. But she got on Twitter and said, I want to be a thot. I want to be a super thot. Look at this at the bottom. In shoes, I can barely walk in. So she got people that's validating this. Look at this chick down here. Look at this comment. What's going on? It says, a whole mood. Cleavage spilling out all over the appetizers. This is what our women have come to. That's what they've, this is what they've become. And this is why we got a problem. They're comfortable in this. They've, tur they've turned the light into darkness like it's nothing. They're cool with this state of mind. All right? Go back. 
everybody that retweet we tweeted that. Eight thousand retweets. Eight thousand. Eight thousand retweets. Eight thousand holes. Go ahead. That's the end of that. Now here I, go this I, thing. I, I can't appreciate black men trying to make a dollar off of making black women feel bad. This nigga and right unfortunately, here. Unfortunately, black women. <laughs> This nigga is doing exactly what yeah. he's saying they doing. Yes. <laughs> Notice this nigga been changed. I'm sorry. I'm saying nigga so much. That's a nigga. Listen. <laughs> That's a nigga. This nigga done changed scenes how many times, face. bro? Shit, he just made my teeth white calling him a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga would have been, it'd have been like three different areas of this school. It, it, he should be burn, he burning the fat or something. Because he got... <laughs> This dude, come he on, let's press play. No he took a press play. Now you're going to use the deep words. Some of them are so thirsty for validation that they're participating. They're participating in the attacks and slander against the black female community, and that's not acceptable. Even for amusement, the black woman should never subject herself to another man's condemnation. And what makes the condemnation so ridiculous for me, it's mostly superficial. Most of the assessment is superficial, brothers and sisters. It's superficial. Press ball. You, man, that ain't no, he bought somebody else's school. Look at that old ass <laughs> shit at the top. He ain't just built that school. Look nah, at that. he didn't build that, nothing. That, that ain't been now since. What are you trying to show? <laughs> I'm going to write the school. I'm talking. Get out of here. Notice, replay that black part again, Bruh. Back a little bit more, right there. If I gotta, if I gotta talk proper and look like that, I already talk like I talk. Press you, press and press what play. makes the condemnation so ridiculous for me? <laughs> it's mostly Ooh. superficial. Most of the assessment is superficial, brothers and sisters. So basically, press Paul. It's super. So what is Kevin Samuels talking about? Right, he's talking about a few things. It's a reason why he asked what your, what your weight and all of that is, right? Women call in because they think they can get a high-value man. And I love that he, he crushes that because everybody thinks they can get it. Because, it's you know what I mean? It is what it is. It's so easy to make money. They feel like they can get that, right? But, <laughs> but the thing is your weight. When he be asking, okay, how tall are you? I'm five foot. How much you weigh? I'm two thirty. Like you're out. You're you're unhealthy. You are un, you are at risk of everything. You're unhealthy. That's what he's basically and telling that's you. That's what you're gonna teach that man kids. Right. You you don't even know how to take care of yourself, but you want a high value man. You want a man to, to spend his hard earned money to take care of you. Now I ain't talking about a woman that's that he grew up with, but these women be wanting men that they ain't never met before. To take care of them, and you out of shape. You're disgusting. You bad built, not needed. <laughs> this is service, service, service announcement. Service announcement. The the the, the high value men is the men that are keeping uh, God's cast. Yeah, Bring laws, it out. The Bring laws, it out. Laws, statutes, and commandments. And damn it, we got standards. You got to keep the, the high commandments. value women as well. The yep, one that keep the commandments. Yep, yep. Right. Yep. Bring it out. That's really the that, that's exactly that's really the but truth. But y'all about the, the women. Sir. No, but no, that's that's real. We are the real high value men. We are God's chosen men. <laughs> Y'all stop, you bugging. <laughs> <laughs> hey, press. This messed up the whole press show. Play. <laughs> Official women, you men too. Way too much. Listen, listen. You, you don't have the right hold on. body type. You way too much. You don't have enough. Sister, get your health together. That's all. Right. He do the same thing to men. What he called dude? He said, "How tall are you?" He said, five nine. How much you weigh?" 270, you a fat fuck. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, you I'm about to, I'm about to say what don't, don't say that one, but, I'm about to say what but but what he's saying is he's correcting the man too. Get yourself together. Captain Shim been on our tail about burning the fat. Mm -hmm. Right? No matter how much you want to feel bad about it, oh. it's a reason behind it, right? We got to do what? We got to get healthy. How can we be unhealthy and we try to raise the nation up? You know what I mean? It's kind of it's selfish because we need more and more people to go out and teach God's laws, statutes, and commandments to be an example. We dying off because we ain't taking care of our health. 
So that's why we got to change it. It's all across the board. Go ahead. Can I get a scripture to back you up on? on the yeah, because we back Just real quick. Get a Sirach 30 and start at verse 23. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter start 30. 22. Chapter 30 and verse 22. The gladness of the heart is the life of man. It said the gladness of the heart is the life of man. It gives you life. You know what I'm saying? Read. And the joyfulness of a man prolongeth his days. It prolongeth his days. You always down and all oh, you you stressed out. It shortens your days. Read. Love thine own soul. It said, love thy own. Hear, hear what it's saying. It said, love thy own soul. Read. And comfort thy heart. And comfort thy heart. Read. Remove sorrow far from thee. And remove sorrow far from thee. Watch. Read. For sorrow hath killed many. For sorrow hath killed many. How do sorrow kill many? You, you eat yourself to death. You know, they call it comfort food. It comforts you. So now you, 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 you stuff your face until you, you, you comfort and you eat all the wrong things. Read, read, read on. Oh. You, hate, you hate yourself. Right. Yeah. It's about to say it. Read on. And there is no profit therein. There is no profit therein. Read. Envy and wrath shorten the life. Envy and wrath shorten the life. It's about how you ha carry yourself, how you handle things. Read. And carefulness bringeth age before the time. And carefulness bringeth age. See, the Bible is the Bible of life. It's telling you how to live. Read. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. You see that? Read that again. A cheerful... And this is what Kevin Samuel was saying right here. Yeah. Read. A cheerful and good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. He's going to care for what he eats. A, a person that oh, easy can tell that person depressed. Something wrong. We just read at first, when you start at 22, it's getting the characteristics on how a person's supposed to be. And uh, that person who cares and joyful, he's not going to be, he's going to um, watch the meats he eat. Watch what he eats. I, I'm, I'm going to stuff myself. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that got 100, you know, Crap, you know, I th yeah, not just carrots, but stupid, like, you know, like I, I told my wife the other day, she, she brought some, like, some little cakes. So I don't know what it was, but I looked at the back of it. Man, it had like a million degrees, a uh, million um, ingredients. Uh, ingredients, ingredients, not calories, but ingredients. You know what I'm saying? You don't like, know half of it. You don't know what the too. stuff is in there. Stop getting these kids this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, I used to be like that. I used to be depressed. I used to be, you know, uh, that person. So I didn't care what I ate. I didn't care about myself. I didn't care what was going into my body. Now, when you now, do. Yeah. Now that I care about myself, I'm looking at the labels. I'm like, no, nah, I care. I love myself. I ain't about to put anything in there. We got, we you know got, what I'm saying? We got to change that. Yeah. Hey, another thing. We about to wrap it up, right? Damn. We got two minutes. I told you we won't get through it. It's a lot that I could have got through. Two part two? Listen. Part two. Part two, bro. That's maybe fine. That'd be cool. We gotta, you gotta ask Deacon. You know, Deacon, it's Deacon's show. So, okay. <laughs> hey, but check this out, y'all. If y'all see me on Facebook, y'all notice that I've been talking about sisters. <clears throat> if your man is a provider, doing what he need to do, a righteous man, it should be no reason why you should be having your legs closed to your husband. You should be giving that thing up every three to four days, every day. However, however much your husband wanted, whenever he wanted. Stop the BS. And I'm, it be that worldly stuff. That's why it's in the Bible. It be that worldly stuff that be, that be causing you not to do that. Y'all better be careful because these thoughts that I'm talking about is trying to steal your dude. And you think because he in the truth that, that, that brothers don't be falling short. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, these sisters, man, that's what they do. They destroy families, bro. You know what I mean? And you and, and you want to you, you want to withhold some stuff, and you men too. You men be doing it. How, how do you holding a ride from your wife? What's wrong with you? You Negroes is crazy. <laughs> who raised you? Who for real? Who raised you, Un Uncle? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I got some eyes to raise. You if you ain't giving the ride up to your wife, yeah, a lot of a lot of times that be brothers be doing some stuff on the other side. <laughs> yeah, a lot. I mean, I'm not saying in all yeah. cases, but majority of the cases. Something wrong with that brother. Hey, get get your. I don't your know no man to turn down. You know what I'm saying? I ain't turning down nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I turn, I I'm waking up out my sleep. You know what I'm saying? You I could be you fresh out of surgery. You know fresh I'm out of surgery. Listen. Hey man. I'm, I'm, I'm up. I'm up. You know what I'm saying? I'm up. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm in a dead sleep. Yeah. Huh? Just, you say what? <laughs> right. 
Right. Get your and, day and, started out right, huh? Hey, I'm telling you, y'all better get it together. You you married couples, man, get it together. I'm telling you, these thoughts, these simps is out to get out to destroy relationships, man. Destroy our whole community, period. So we got to get our stuff together. But it's up to y'all to go out and teach these laws, statutes, and commandments. Sisters, repent. Brothers, repent. And we out. Fix your face. Fix your face. We ain't going nowhere. Fix your face. We ain't going nowhere. Fix your face. Fix your face. Fix your face. We ain't going nowhere.